Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, some people need surgery to get rid of cancer, which ultimately can leave a scar. It's a physical reminder of a very traumatic experience. And joining us now is Dr. Dr. Deborah Mangioni with a few options for improving the after effects of treatment. Welcome to the show, Dr. Thank Good you very you. much. Nice to have yeah, you. Yeah, I think, you know, it's so traumatic in, to begin with if you're diagnosed with cancer, but then right. after you have any procedures or treatments or surgeries, you're left with a lot of scarring. Right, especially breast cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, women, it, it's really a very emotional, psychologically damaging thing mm -hmm. to have to go through what many people look at as a, an operation that doesn't leave them whole or doesn't look, leave them looking the way they would like to look. Right. And so even after reconstruction, they still may have scarring uh, from the incisions, either from the cancer removal or from reconstruction. And there are things that can be done to diminish those scars or make them fade as quickly as they can. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect time for us to be talking about it because it is um, Breast Cancer that's Awareness exactly right. Month, as a lot of people know, and I know that's why you chose this to talk about. Let's talk about some of the things that you can do to help because a lot of people want the scar to be flattened. Right. Um, it can be red or discolored, yes, so a lot of people want to reduce the, the color of it. That's right. That's right. It's frequently red for several months to a year after any kind of surgical mm -hmm, procedure. Mm -hmm. And things that we can do today with fractionated laser and intense pulse light can actually ha hasten the improvement of the scar to get it to be its more mature state in less time. So we can get rid of the redness, we can get rid of the look. Here we're looking at somebody who had breast cancer reconstruction using a, a flap of tissue from the abdomen. Mm -hmm. And so this is what the scar looked like. And then we treated it with two intense pulse light treatments and one fractionated laser treatment. Oh, wow. And it really improved the look very, very rapidly. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, and I think that's a that's the thing to note. Nothing can take a scar away. Scars are right. our battle wounds. They truly are our stories in life. But to diminish the look and the appearance of a scar really can bring back some confidence. Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. You know, and the quicker we can do that, the better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, one of the other things that I was not aware of is, is something that they call tattoo marks. And that right. happens as a result of radiation, right? Right. When people need radiation treatments after surgery or for cancer in general, um, very frequently little tattoo marks are made to mark the field that has to be treated so that the same area is treated with each treatment. And, ta and usually radiation treatments given over several weeks. And so these are permanent tattoos that are placed, little dots, to kind of mark out a square or rectangular area that's mm -hmm. going to be treated. And so because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, in honor of breast cancer survivors, what we are offering in conjunction with Alma Lasers, who's one of the laser companies that we work with, is free tattoo removal to anybody who has any remnants of these tattoos uh, from breast cancer radiation treatment. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I mean, same thing. It was just something I wasn't aware of, and I'm sure people who've had that, you know, experience, it's something that they want probably removed. Yeah, so I to do that for free do. is a very big deal. You also have an open house that you're doing. Right. On October 19th, we have an open house for people to come either to learn more about this tattoo removal or to learn about the other things we can do for people who have scarring after surgery or have radiation effects. There are many, many different treatments that we can do that can diminish the appearance of the abnormal skin. Mm -hmm. For instance, after radiation, a lot of people are left with a lot of redness in the skin mm -hmm. and little new vessels, like mm -hmm. spider veins on the leg, only very red ones that are all over the area that was treated. Mm -hmm. And they can be removed with the laser that we use for spider vein treatment, and it works very, very well. What have you heard from some of the people that you've treated yeah. who have either those the tattoo markings that you mentioned or the redness or a scar that hasn't faded? Well, people who have the redness, especially on the upper part of the chest, I've treated some people who've had um, lung cancer who have had these little vessels left after radiation and they're thrilled to have those gone because then they can wear normal necklines again. Exactly. And so just the idea of doing this and trying to help them to feel better about their appearance. So people aren't always asking them, why do you have that? Mm -hmm. you know, or what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. it, it does It does seem to help a lot. Yeah. I just think it's great how in touch you are um, with what's going on this month as well as with women, um, you know, because all these things, that, like we mentioned, they can be so traumatic, and to help women in this way I just think is so great. What, what you know, have you done this before? Is this the first year? This is the first year we're doing this, um, and I think it's a great idea. It was actually yeah. proposed to us by Alma Lasers, it's and great. people bought into this idea, and it's kind of a national campaign that's going on and we think it's really worthwhile to do it this. Is. 
And so October 19th, we are having an open house for anybody who's interested in learning more, or else they can call for a complimentary consultation anytime this month and get started with any of these treatments. I think that's Great. fantastic. So the information again first about the open house is October 19th. Right. Um, what day of the week is that's that? That's a Wednesday. A Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, October 19th. Um, people should call for more information or if they'd like to RSVP right. for that event. Um, and that again is a special open house. So there's no charge for that. People who've had cancer treatments or surgeries uh, can certainly ask questions at that. The phone number to call is 262-746-9088. Again, the consultation is, is complimentary. WIMediSpa.com is the website to visit too. And again, that's during this month that people can have those tattoo markings um, removed at no charge. That's exactly it's right. Fantastic. Right. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Appreciate Thank you. it.